why is decluttering important to mental health? I'd love to know your thoughts on that, please, Sarah. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so clutter comes in many forms. We've got physical clutter around our homes. We've got uh, online clutter, as you probably photos, folders, you know, emails. emails. Um, yes. That was me. <laughs> Email, the dreaded emails. Um, and mind clutter. So especially as women, there's a lot of, like a, there's a mental load over having to remember so much for um, kids, pets, house, ourselves, which yeah. usually is at the bottom of the list, to-do list, everything. So yeah. they're kind of the three areas. And what it results in is uh, when we've got cutted areas, we can forget what we've got, it becomes hard to manage, yeah. um, or we can't find something. And what happens when you can't remember or you can't find something? You go to the shop to buy another one. So then you're bringing more into your home. And, that was you know, me with cumin. In... I had about eight cumins because I was like, I don't know if I've got one, I'll just buy it. <laughs> It's 60p. Yes. Yeah, so that's me. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then the flow of the home doesn't quite work and um, it affects our well-being as well. Um, and I was just looking before and there's some research that shows that um, when people have clutter, it also rises the um, level of cortisone, the stress yeah. hormone as well. Yeah. Um, so if you can imagine a thread that goes from you to every single item you own. So it just keeps going from one item to the next item to the next item. Now that thread represents energy and it's getting weaker and weaker and weaker. Yeah. That's, that's my analogy when I think about um, clutter. It affects our body, our mind, our spirit. It just affects every part of us. Yes, yeah. And I would say it's everything has an energy to it. Um, mm. And when I, when I moved into my home now, out of my, what was my marital home, I, I brought a lot of that stuff with me because I, I couldn't afford to buy new stuff. And so I was really grateful to have it, but at the same time as I gradually replaced it with new, that's felt really yeah. cathartic because it, it, you know, the way I would look at it is subconsciously, every time you you know if i was sat at the dining table that i used to sit at with my ex-husband and my kids as a family there would be that energy those memories there um yeah. and you know like i was saying before about how women have this diffused awareness um alison armstrong says that things speak to us so like yeah. you see a cushion that needs plumping or uh, you know we'll open a cupboard and it will be full of stuff and it and it then it gets really noisy but i love what you said about that did you call it a string? A thread. String a thread. Thread. Thread, yeah. sounds, thread sounds nicer <laughs> than my, Yeah, I knew it was more eloquent than what I said, Sarah. But I love that idea. That's really, really beautiful. And and, and what you said about the research that um, shows that cortisol levels rise. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm sure, sorry, Abby's just saying that explains why I threw away half my furniture and stuff after a breakup. <laughs> no, I think you just wanted new stuff, Abby. No, <laughs> just kidding. Um, <laughs> um, I was going to say something else there, but I, it's gone. Um, was that everything you wanted to say? Or have you got more? I was just going to give a, a couple of um, strategies, but um, yeah. I don't know if you know the 80 20 rule and how that impacts us with our stuff. No. But on average, we use 20% of our stuff 80% of the time. Yes. Um, so true with clothes, I think. But for me, it is. So um, just focusing on that 20% that really matters to you instead of the stuff you're getting rid of. Like, look at how we can house and use that stuff that really matters to us. Yeah. Um, yeah, I was just going to yeah and, and then so powerful isn't it sarah so, and yeah. so clear and what i see with mindset say i had a client who wanted to eat more healthily for example and so they were going to start eating more um uh, uh produce and, and protein as my buddy christina and, and elizabeth my buddy in, in america would say um and less uh, I don't know, refined carbohydrates. Our mind will go, oh, I can't have this, this and this. And it's really negative. Yeah. And we could have that same attitude and somebody would if they were not in the best mindset when they're giving stuff away. Oh, that's going, that's going. It's like you haven't freaking worn yeah. it in two years and yeah. it doesn't even yeah. So if you switch that focus to the 20%, 
um sorry my yeah. cat's coming to join then um that's that's i love that kind of kind of almost like a bit of a reframe there so that's really helpful yeah 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 and just a little tip a lot of people go out and buy organizing stuff first and that's the wrong way around so always declutter sort plan and yeah. then you know what's going where and you can get organizing stuff because that's one of the biggest clutter categories unknown but storage empty storage that's that's so fascinating and, and to me it makes perfect sense because the ego goes I'm going to fix this on the shallow level, the surface level, yeah. which is, I bought something, yeah. is BS, whereas your higher self will guide you to do the real work, which is get rid of your freaking crap.